Now let's return to the Throttlers Car Show in Burbank, California. Walking around the show, there are several cars here that you're all familiar with. They've been in various magazines. Well, one of them stepped out in front of me, right behind me, Carl Johansson's 1928 Ford, which is done as a mail truck, or is a mail truck. It is, was originally a mail truck, yes. Took actually two of them to complete it. All the wood is uh, new wood, but uh, some of the steel parts came off of two different mail trucks. I appreciate anything that's different, and you certainly have put together something that's different here. What was the inspiration to do a mail truck? Uh, no, I didn't do this car. A very good friend of mine put this together. It took him 15 years to build it, and uh, as soon as he got done with it, he wanted to sell it, so I was interested, and I purchased it. Having been on the cover of Rod and Custom, what's that done as far as recognizability or, or notoriety for the car? Well, it kind of makes the car maybe uh, worth a little bit more. It's kind of like a, an actress or an actor that has a cover picture. Or, or maybe even an Academy Award? Yeah, well, if you want to go that far, yeah. <laughs> I doubt it. But uh, it uh, more people see the car, and then if you do happen to put the car up for sale, then there's more people interested that might want that sort of thing. What's the powertrain on it? It's a 302 Chevy, and uh, that came out of a 84 Camaro, so it's the same transmission, automatic transmission, and a 57 Ford rear end. Any old car is, gets lots of attention, lots of thumbs up, but a mail truck, do you take this to the grocery store or just drive around in it and, and do you get a lot of double takes? Yes, that's true. Uh, whenever I go to the market, and I do sometimes take it out to the market, uh, a lot of people come up and talk about it. And they'll tell me that uh, a friend of mine has one up the street that he's working on or something like that. Kind of brings them out of the woodwork. Carl, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us. This is a fantastic car and a fantastic mail truck. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you. I am standing here with Bill West. Bill, you have a beautiful track roadster here, and I really like what you've done with it to make it look antique. Could you tell me a little bit about it? Well, a friend of mine was moving to Oregon, and he said he had a bunch of Model T stuff. There was soon going to be Hondas if I wanted it to come and go through it and take whatever I wanted. So I took a Model T frame and a front end and springs and radius rods and everything I could get from him, and I decided to build a little car. Well, economy cars were there at that time, and it took me 27 years to build this car because I'm a family guy and had a shop, and I only worked on it in my spare time. So the idea was to build a small Model T track roadster because I got tired of people copying everything I built because I never had the money to finish them, and they built them before I did. So I made it 7 8 scale so nobody could copy it. And what kind of engine do you have under this hood? It's a Fiat engine. The Fiat engine and transmission has automatic transmission. I got Triumph Spitfire brakes and wheels on it. Got a Toyota rear end. And I made, I made a quick change rear end for it so it looked like an old race car. And I stuck to 1913 on almost everything, such as hinges are 1913 Ford. This is a 1913 Ford. This is 1913 Ford. The springs, the radius rods. I try to stick as close to that as I possibly could to keep this same theme. You got a little modern touches like the disc brakes in the back, right? Well, we need to have disc brakes. It only weighs 1,100 pounds. It's got 150 horsepower. I thought it'd be a good idea to stop it. Well, thank you very much, Bill. You're welcome. I really love your car. I think you've done a great job with it. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. 